Hey guys, so in this video I want to share five mind-blowing facts about psilocybin mushrooms. So for millennia now, psilocybin mushrooms have actually been used for spiritual purposes as early evidence such as the 6,000 year old cave paintings of mushrooms found in the Selva Pascuala cave in Spain, as well as Saharan cave paintings dated as far back as 7,000 BC that depict ceremonial activity involving mushrooms and much more. These days, mushrooms are commonly used for recreational, spiritual and or therapeutic purposes. And you know, it's no surprise that the scientific community has had a great interest in psychedelic research as of like the past decade or so. And this is due to the huge potential these substances have, not only for treating patients with severe mental illnesses like depression, PTSD and anxiety, but also for reaching higher stage of consciousness. Cool, so enjoy the following five facts that I personally find fascinating. Mushrooms create a hyper-connected brain. Psilocybin completely disrupts normal communication networks in the brain, allowing more connections to be made from parts of the brain that don't normally talk to each other. In one study, an fMRI was used to scan the brain of 15 healthy volunteers. They found that psilocybin to dramatically transform the organization of the brain, creating a hyper-connected brain. This could explain why people under the influence of psilocybin tend to be in like this dreamlike state and they feel all these like deja vu feelings and all these old memories may bubble up to the surface and why we can have so many deep insights and make more connections. Shrooms can change your personality. Just one heavy psilocybin dose can alter one's personality for a year or even permanently, one study says. People given psilocybin demonstrated a more open personality after the experience. For those who aren't aware, openness is a psychological term that refers to one's appreciation for new experiences. People who are more open tend to be more uh, imaginative, uh, in tunes with one's emotions, intellectually curious and like self-examination and things like that. And you know, some people have reported that after just one psilocybin experience that it was the most significant event of their life. And this is like rated higher than even the, like the birth of their first child and things like that. So it's not that surprising that this substance can alter one's personality permanently due to like such a profound experience. And you know, I can definitely attest to this because my first psilocybin experience was probably the biggest milestone of my life of like putting me towards this path of self-exploration and helping me become more open-minded and seeking new experiences and, and stuff like that. So yeah. Psilocybin mushrooms have been shown to reduce anxiety in terminal cancer patients. Since the 1950s, we've known about the potential of hallucinogens treating the psychological, spiritual, and existential distress that comes alongside stage three cancer. Professor Stefan Ross from NYU Medical School says that cancer patients receiving just a single dose of psilocybin experienced immediate and dramatic reductions in anxiety and depression, improvements that were sustained for at least six months. Participants in the John Hopkins study showed positive lasting changes of life slash self, positive social changes along with positive behavioral changes. The fact that a drug can have such long lasting results after just a single dose is unprecedented in the psychiatric field. And this shows great potential for psilocybin helping people with their fear of death, which is something that the vast majority of our population heavily struggle with. Psilocybin can lead to neurogenesis, the growth of new brain cells. After giving mice low doses of psilocybin, researchers have found that it helps repair damaged brain cells. The psilocybin also balanced the overactive medial prefrontal cortex regions of the mice, which shows promise for treating PTSD, as many sufferers of PTSD have an overactive medial prefrontal cortex. And it's funny because science has proven to us again and again that psychedelics such as psilocybin is actually one of the safest drugs known to pharmacology. So in other words, psilocybin is actually very non-toxic to the body. So yeah, I guess that age old myth of shrooms giving you brain damage and all that nonsense sounds pretty silly now, doesn't it? Psilocybin helps process negative emotions. Researchers have found via fMRI that psilocybin influences the amygdala 
to allow better processing of negative stimuli. An unbalanced amygdala is often associated with depression and anxiety disorders. Elevated activity of the amygdala in response to stimuli leads to the neurons strengthening negative signals and weakening the processing of positive ones. This mechanism plays an important role in the development of depression and anxiety disorders. Psilocybin intervenes specifically in this mechanism. So in other words, psilocybin helps break the pattern of this habitual cycle that people get stuck in who are suffering from depression and anxiety because it gives you, it either completely shocks your environment or it just gives you like this new perspective that helps you step outside your bubble. And hey, this could explain why psilocybin is so effective at treating people with depression, anxiety and PTSD with such a huge success rate. And not to mention just after one dose, which is mind-blowing. Alright guys, so those are the five facts that I personally find interesting about psilocybin. Uh, thanks for those who've actually watched this far and if you do want to help us out, leave a big like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I do release content on a weekly basis. But yeah, I'm actually interested in what you guys think. Which fact did you personally find the most interesting or even better yet, maybe share with us a fact that wasn't mentioned in this video that you personally find fascinating. But yeah guys, that's it from me. I just wanted to thank all you guys from Patreon who have supported me thus far. You guys really are making it possible for this channel to continue. Uh, for those who are interested in what Patreon is, I'll leave a link in the description below. Go check it out. Uh, yeah, so feel free. Uh, but yeah guys, that's it. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.